Morning, morning stretch, the Sunday morning stretch. Thank you for being here and welcome. Right, how we will start today, right, is by standing and we're going to put our hands on the back, top of our butt, bring our arms back, put some pressure onto our lower back. As we do that, the knees are gonna slightly soften. You're gonna put your head up and you're gonna start leaning back. And you're gonna cushion your lower back so that you're not feeling too much pressure on that lower back. That would divert your attention to the pain. You don't want pain, you want open. Wanna have that tightness open. Just gonna hold it there. Take deep breath in through the nose. Start to welcome that circulation, welcome that movement that's going on around your body. We're going to straighten up. We're going to put the feet quite close together. You're going to place your hands at the back of your body and you're going to slide your hands down past your butt, down your hamstrings. You're going to slide them down past your knee down your calves, you're gonna hold on to your ankle. You're gonna take a firm grip on your ankle and we're gonna take a deep breath in. The breath will last for five seconds and then we're gonna hold it for five. So when you're ready, we're gonna go in now. Five. We're gonna hold it for five. And then we're gonna let the air go and pull ourselves into our body for five. We're just going to hold the breath for five. And you're going to just breathe as normal. Find that breath. Be present with that breath. Feel that lower back open up. Feel the glutes open up. Hamstring, back of the knee, calf, Achilles. Feel it all go. Feel it all go. And then what I'd like you to do is start to separate your feet apart. Stay bent over to separate your feet, separate your feet. And then gently lower yourself down so that your fingers touch the floor. If your knees need to bend, then please allow them to bend. Just allow your head to hang, soften, shoulders, let them hang and you want to put your hands firmly on the floor now. So what I would like is your palms on the floor. If you can't do that, then obviously flex your knees a little bit more, round your back a little bit more. Get into that position where you've got your palms firmly flat to that floor. And then from there, what we're going to do is squat down. We're going to squat down and have the hands right in the middle of our legs. Squat down. And as we've squat down, we've got our elbows now wedged on the inside of our thighs. We're gonna clasp our hands together as if we're going for a prayer. Our fingers are gonna be pointing out in front of us. And now we're gonna draw our hands back together as they are clasped together, stuck together. We're gonna to bring them back so they're motioning towards our body. And what we're doing, we're opening up our legs and feeling the inside of the thigh open up, the adductors open up. I'm gonna hold that position there. Might feel a little bit awkward. I'm gonna let the body just settle. Be in this position. Let the brain be aware. Let it send the signals. It must to keep the body stable. And we're gonna be present now with the breath, now that we are stable. And if you want to do, draw your hands a little bit further back, you can open up your thighs a little bit more. And then what I'd like you to do is drop your hands down so they're flat again. And slide your hands out. And at the same time as sliding your hands out, your knees are going to come to the mat, to the floor. And we're going to find ourselves in the tabletop.
By being in the tabletop now, we're gonna round our upper back really high up. We're gonna put our chin into our chest. We're gonna fuse the belly button into the spine and we're gonna go into a cow stretch. So you want your shoulder blades to feel open. Chin goes down. Feel that spine open up. Fuse your belly button into the spine. Get that vacuum pack up. And then just breathe. It's gonna feel awkward. Just be present with your breath. See how you organize the feeling with the stretching, with the tightness, with the awkwardness to the breathing. Just feel present with yourself. Feel that stretch, feel the opening, feel the tightness. And then we're gonna let that go. And we're gonna drop the belly down, lower spine, curves, head goes up, and we're now in the cat stretch. By being in the cat stretch now, you've got a nicely curved lower spine. So the lumbar part of the spine is curved. The belly's hanging. You're feeling that openness in the middle of the body. The chin's up, so you're getting all of that air, all of that oxygen in. Breathing in through the nose, through the mouth, it doesn't matter. Just make sure the oxygen is going in. Being present with your breath. Feeling anything that your body is trying to let you know. Just accept it because it's supposed to be there. And then from there, what we're gonna do is drag one leg and it's gonna come to the front of the body. And you're gonna have one foot in front of the knee and your leg is gonna be bent so that your knee to your ankle is quite straight, a little bit of an angle. And then what we're gonna do is take a deep breath in and as the breath goes in, we're gonna drop down to that knee, drop down to that knee and we're now in the pigeon stretch and we're just opening up the glutes opening up the lower back you can have your hand around your knee you can have your hands cushioning your forehead like i am what we want here is just an understanding that the hip flexors the outside of the hip the glutes all of that area is being open. Just be present with that opening. And after three, two, one, place your hands on the floor, leverage your body up. And then what we're gonna do is just transfer the weight. So the leg that you've now got bent in front of you, you wanna just lean your body, your upper body to the same side, keeping your hands firmly on the floor, so you're twisting your spine, you're trying to get your hips right down to the floor, but maintaining that upper body posture. So the focus is on the hip, on the outside of the hip, coming up from the obliques, and then moving into the glutes. Try trying to get that deep piriformis glute stretch. You might feel a little bit of shaking, those are your stabilizers. Those are your body's balancing mechanisms, survival mode. So it's a coping mechanism. That shaking just means there's a lot more going on. Shouldn't be too worried about your body if it is starting to shake because it's supposed to. And then after three, two, one, we're gonna just come back to the original position and we're gonna swap legs now. So that leg that was out in front of you goes back as the trailing leg and then you're gonna slide your other leg forward so that you've got your knee, should have your knee just below your shoulder and then your foot is either straight out or at an angle. And once again, we're gonna take a deep breath in. As we breathe in, we're gonna drop down to our knee. Your hand can cushion your forehead or you can wrap your hands around your knee, depending on how flexible and how much of a stretch that you're getting. So, we're gonna take a deep breath in, 
Now, and we're gonna drop down. The breath is completely up to you. How long you wanna breathe in for. And then once you settle, you're just gonna be present with the stretch, being present with the breath. Just feeling open, feeling the tightness, feeling the open tightness, feeling that flow, feeling that dissolve, feeling the resolve, feeling that flow, just allowing your body to flow, feeling all the nutrients flow, being present with the breath, feel that belly rise, feel that belly fall, and then again, place your hands, leverage your body up, keeping your hands firmly flat, we're going to lean down to the same side as the bent leg, trying to maintain that balance on the upper body, just getting a real deep piriformis, glute, hip stretch. Once again, if there is a little bit of shaking, then just adjust your hands accordingly. Maybe it's a balancing issue, or just the fact that it's brand new to your body, and it's just welcoming, just setting, resetting, settling. Just holding it in place, getting as deep as you can, really feeling that stretch. And after three, two, one, you're gonna come up to the original position, and you're gonna drag your leg back. So now we're back into the tabletop. Your hands are gonna outstretch. Your forehead's gonna try and go as low as it can go. Once it goes low, then you'll feel your forearms becoming flush to the floor. And then what we wanna be doing now is just sinking the upper body lower, lower, lower. So you wanna try and get your heart to sink right down to that floor. Lower back could be curved for you. Lower back, upper lats could be stretched for you. Forearms, totally flush to the floor, totally stable, totally present. Foreheads could be on the floor, nicely cushioned, getting that chest really low to the ground. Opening up your body. Feeling those tendons, those muscles, ligament, everything what makes your body able to move, just being welcomed with all of this opening. From there we're going to slide the hand back as we elevate the upper body and then our knees are going to go together, we're going to drop down on our thighs and we're going to go into the cobra stretch. Stretching the abdomen, feeling that gut open up. We're going to flex at the elbow, we're going to subtly, gently drop the upper body down, put your elbows to the floor, and now we're in the sphinx. So by being in the sphinx now, it's going to take a moment, take a deep breath in through the nose. We're going to hold the breath. Hold the breath and feel what's going on in your body. And then we're going to let the air go. Let the air go. We're going to drop the upper body down. We're going to put our hands underneath our shoulders as if we're going to go and press up. And we're going to elevate one of our legs. So one leg elevates up in the air. The other foot is firmly planted on the floor. Your toes are firmly planted on the floor. So your toes are curled, opening up the base of your foot. That will give you the stabilization. That leg that is elevated, we're then going to fold it at the knee. And from folding it at the knee, we're just going to twist the body round, going to stack the hips, go into a scorpion. Opening up the hip flexors, opening up the quadriceps to a degree obliques, feeling a little bit of opening in the chest, 
all round opening, all round stretch. Welcoming everything your body is signaling. Everything was going on, just accept it. And then we're gonna get back into the starting position. The leg goes down. And we're gonna dig the toes back into the floor with the leg that was bent and now it's straight. We're gonna elevate the opposing leg. And then we're gonna fold at the knee and we're gonna stack the hips. And we're gonna go into the opposing scorpion. Once again, hip flexor, quadriceps, thigh, chest, shoulder, obliques, get it all open. Accept what's going on, have no judgment of your body, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Allow it. Just make sure that what you are feeling is an opening not getting too clouded with any niggles that might be happening. Just being present with that breath as well, giving you a real base of stillness, of concentration, of understanding, of connection. And then we're going to place our foot back on the floor, next to the other foot, thigh, back to the other thigh. Elevate the upper body up, go back into a mini cobra, go back into the tabletop. From the tabletop, we're going to then slide our knees in, slide our knees in so they're right next to the hands, behind the hands. Dig your toes into the ground, bring your upper body up, bring your hands up, right up to the top. You can clasp them, put them together, or you can separate them and then just lean back as far as you can without aggravating your lower back. Dig your toes into the ground, opening up the balls of the feet, taking a deep breath in, feeling your whole body just want to just stretch out completely. Welcome that world, welcome that morning. Bring your hands down, bring your hands down. As you bring your hands down, what we're gonna do is just take a seat, switch into the seat and from here what we're gonna be doing is lying back as we lie back we're gonna clasp the bottom of the knee so one leg whichever leg that you want you're gonna lean back clasp that knee pull that knee into the chest into the chest your other leg should be straightened out you're then going to elevate that same leg, allow the leg to extend, your hands are going to release the leg, they're going to be placed either side of your body, and that same leg is going to start to rotate round, so we go into the reverse scorpion, opening up the hip flexor once again, the glute, lower back, just an immense opening, an immense release. And just holding that position, taking a deep breath in through the nose, and then letting the air go. As the air goes, we're gonna drop the leg even more. Take another deep breath in through the nose. And then the air comes out, as the air comes out, the leg gets dropped even more. And then we're going to return the elevated leg back to the original position. Raise the other leg, clasp the bottom of the knee, draw the leg into your chest. Feel that quadriceps on your belly. Feel it rising. You're trying to Give it some leverage, pulling it up, opening up the glutes, opening up the hips. Try and get your shoulder blades to retract back so you're not applying too much pressure and you're not feeling tense when this practice is quite the opposite. 
You just want to be loose. You want to be open. We're going to raise that same leg now. We're going to extend that same leg. Still hold that leg so you can support it. Once you feel confident that your leg can be left, then put your hands either side of your body and then just tilt, lean, twist your body round. All the way round. Get that spine to twist. Hips open up, glutes open up. Take a deep breath in through the nose. We're going to then let the air go as the air goes. We're going to drop that foot down a bit more. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then we're going to drop that air. Drop that foot, drop the air. Drop it down. And just be present with that feeling now. That openness. That solace. Sobriety. That mystic, mysterious vibration. That signifies your opening. Signifies a stillness. In your own time, you're going to then return the leg back to the original position. And what we're going to do from here is put our feet on the floor so our knees are now bent. We're going to put our hands on the thighs and we're going to abdominal crunch so that our hands slide up and they reach top of the knee. And from top of the knee, you're going to fold one leg in, fold one leg in. Put your hands either side on, the, on one side of the body. Leverage yourself up and then slide your knees so they're together. And from there, you're going to widen your knees. Put your hands underneath your chin. So we're into the frog stretch. We're going to curve the lower back in. Chin goes up. We're going to take one almighty breath in. It's going to last for six seconds. So when you're ready, we're going to breathe in now. Six seconds. We're going to hold the breath. Six. And we're going to let the air go for eight and come up at the same time. We're now going to hold the breath for five. We're going to let the air go. We're going to drop the hands down. We're going to place them underneath the chin again. We're going to take a deep breath in for six seconds. Curve that lower spine. We go in for six. We hold. We feel that resolve. For six. And then we let the air go for eight and we come up. Stretch as far as you can. We hold the breath for five. And we drop the hands down to get back into the frog stretch. Lower spine, nicely curved, should feel much more natural now. Take a deep breath in, we're gonna go in for six. We're gonna hold for six. We're gonna let the air go and come up one more time for eight. We're gonna hold the breath for five. And one last time, we're going to drop back into the frog. Lower back, nicely curved. Chin, elevate it up. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Expand the belly for six. Holding the breath, feeling any pressure on your shoulders to so just drop out, drop it. And then we let the air go for eight and we come up. Again, for another mini supine, all the way for eight seconds. Let the air go. Let it all go. Be 
is one, be present. Welcome the world, welcome the morning. Hold the breath for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna put our hands right in front of the knees. We're gonna dig the toes in the ground so we've got some nice stability. Elevate the knees so we go into a temporary floating tabletop. And then we're gonna straighten out the legs and we go temporarily into the downward facing dog. We're gonna walk our hands back, feeling that stretch on the calves, on the hamstrings, on the glutes, grabbing the ankle, taking a deep breath in, and then letting the air go, pulling ourselves to our body, opening it all up back to the original position that when we started with, feeling a completely different opening right now. Welcome your day, stretched your Sunday. And we're gonna just bring the upper body up and gonna go into a supine stretch I'm going to now give you 10 seconds to settle, welcome your morning, think about how you are going to present yourself, how you're going to own your day, and how your Sunday morning has been stretched, and you will stretch that further to make your Sunday an immense, spiritual, soul-searching Sunday. Thank you.